Do the Cardinals have a new closer? We'll break it down next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Monday, May 2nd. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White. And let's talk about Ryan Helsley, reliever for the St. Louis Cardinals, who pitched the final two innings of Sunday's win, two perfect innings, four strikeouts. He averaged over 100 miles per hour on the fastball. He maxed out at 103 miles per hour. Scott, this guy looks awesome. How much are you buying Ryan Helsley as the closer of the Cardinals? Well, I don't know that we can say for sure he's the closer of the Cardinals, but the most interesting aspect about this two-inning save was that Giovanni Gallego should have been available. He hasn't pitched in a whole week. The last time we saw him pitch was April 25th, and it didn't go well that particular outing. Meanwhile, Helsley has been untouchable here. Just one base runner in his eight and a third innings with those 16 strikeouts. And yeah, I don't know why that fastball supercharged this year, but it's it, it's it's certainly the stuff of closers. So it wouldn't surprise me if 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 that's just the role we saw him fill from now on with Gallegos going back to being a bridge guy who who works multiple innings sometimes. So any lead where you need saves, you got to pick up Helsley. Yeah, entering. Uh- Sunday's action, Helsley led all qualified relievers in swinging strike rate and K minus walk rate. He's 7% rostered on CBS. And in a few of my fab leagues, he went for $166 out of a $1,000 budget. That's a 15 team five by five roto league. And then in another, he went for $58 out of a $1,000 budget. So it's kind of all over the place, but if you need saves, you can be pretty aggressive with Ryan Helsley. Let's talk about another pitcher here, Scott, who looks like he's breaking out. Eric Lauer, back-to-back double-digit strikeout games. This weekend, he was up against the Cubs. Seven innings, one run, 11 strikeouts to one walk. What are you seeing with Eric Lauer, and are you buying it? Yeah, so back-to-back starts with double-digit strikeouts, 11 in this one, 13 in the last one. Um, He has a fastball that has picked up velocity this year, up 1.3 miles per hour from last year, which is significant. He calls it the zoom ball. And of his 21 swinging strikes in this start, 14 came on that fastball. And his last start of his 17 swinging strikes, 11 came on the fastball. So it's, it's playing as an elite pitch. And... The thing is, like we saw signs of a breakout from Eric Lauer last year as well over his uh, over his final 15 starts last year. He had a 2.23 ERA, but he didn't have the velocity on the fastball. He wasn't playing like that elite pitch, and he was still pitching well. Obviously, not with all the strikeouts he's getting now. But, you know, obviously, you, you add the effectiveness of that fastball you you get the back to back double digit or du- back to back double digit strikeout efforts. It's hard to fake that one you could do, but two in a row. I, I think Eric Lauer's looking like one of the the big breakout pitchers this year. All right, let's talk about a few prospects. Scott, starting with MJ Melendez, the Royals catcher prospect was recalled from AAA on Sunday. Their backup catcher Cam Gallagher is headed to the. Injured list. Melendez has struggled so far this year in the minors, but he was awesome last year. 288 batting average, 41 homers between double A and triple A. He is 19% rostered. Scott, what is the scouting report with MJ Melendez? Do you think that he's going to play enough? Well, I'm excited about the upside of Melendez, but because he's getting called up out of necessity rather than because he forced his way into the majors, I'm a little skeptical he's going to play that much, except obviously Salvador Perez needs a backup. Uh, but yeah, the fact Melendez was only hitting 160 in the minors and, and hadn't really uh, picked up the pace at the plate, I, I don't know how motivated the Royals are going to be to play him. He could play some right field. He can play some third base. Obviously, the DH spot is available as well. But I, I think I think I would only be picking him up in two catcher leagues where you actually have a need at the catcher spot. You've struggled to find a second catcher and, and are just hoping hoping that the upside comes through. Another prospect was in the news on Sunday for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Kyle Garlick 
is dealing with an injury. He might be placed in the IL. There's talk that Jose Miranda, third base prospect with the Twins, uh, could get the call. He's 26% rostered. Scott, would you look to proactively add Jose Miranda right now? So, yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in him than Melendez because of the circumstances. His, his minor league numbers this year don't look great either, but he has picked it up in his last 13 games. Miranda's hit 300 with a, a home run eight doubles and only three strikeouts in those 13 games, looking a lot like the the contact hitting guy who, who broke through with big power numbers in the minors last year. And he's third base eligible. Everybody has a need there. And it looks like they could actually slot him in their lineup if, if they want to. There's, there's an opening there. So Miranda would be a higher priority pickup. I'm not saying he's must add, but in any league where you, you have a spot to play with, Miranda would be a good choice. All right, for more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. 